To be here, I'm humbled to be here. I'm humbled to have been chosen. Thank you. I think that we have been chosen. We have all been chosen to exist at this time, to align with the divine responsibility to honor the land beneath us. We are the fruits from the seeds of our ancestors' labor. All of us. Yeah, as you say, you know, you know what is very important and what what stops you from believing in this is if you believe that there is some type of devil and when you die you go to heaven or you go to heaven. If, if you believe in that your ego becomes an issue because people like to say look at what the devil made me do and when you say that you deny the responsibility of claiming your own weaknesses thank you so and choosing and then choosing to heal from them yeah you take responsibility you have to take accountability and a lot of people because they're so run by their ego they don't want to take responsibility they don't want to take accountability and so they deny themselves of healing and growing and evolving and ascending but when you choose to take responsibility for your own shadow side, your own, you know, experiences that you're having, you get to heal from those things, evolve from those things, grow through those things, and become who you were born to be. It's easy for you to say that because you have accepted the responsibility of I am. So you know who you are. But for those who don't know what you know, it's difficult for them to heal when they don't know that they even say. The, the, the behavior of our ego is so devil-like because you can't see the devil according to what they say systematically. But that devil could affect you. And it's the same thing with your ego. You know how many people are dying from the ego and they don't recognize that it is their ego? Mm. So it's difficult to heal from something that you're not aware of. Thank you for bringing me into the awareness of that. But my thing is, I wasn't, I didn't always, I wasn't always this way. It took work. It took for me to experience certain things to then come into you know, you know what? Let me take responsibility. That was all me as an individual. We all experience, you know, things in life. And it's up to us to make the decision, make the choice to say, you know what? I'm gonna take responsibility for my life. I'm gonna do research. I'm going to think for myself. I'm, that was all me making the choice. I could have very easily allowed life to just take me. And I could have very easily allowed the ego to take over my life, but I chose not to. And we all have the opportunity every single day to make that choice. We all were blessed with a sound mind. We all were blessed with choice. Your destination, your destiny was chosen. So regardless of what obstacle came in your way, you were able to conquer it, to withhold your destiny. But you cannot deny your destiny because if you deny your destiny, you deny your purpose. Some people just have to be negative in order, in order for the society to flow. If, if we didn't know negative, how would we appreciate the positive? Yes, mm -hmm. if we didn't know darkness, how could we appreciate the light? The light. So, but, because of the society that we live in, we allow negative to become destruct destructive. The things we eat, the things we're exposed to, you know, so what should just be used as to get something started? Today it has festered into look at our community, how many killings we had. Mm. 
six killings in five days. Mm. You know, with, with a, and and it's it's because of egos. It, it, this is what has brought us to the point, and it's amazing. We live in a community that is ego driven, and people really don't recognize that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So disconnected from spirit. So disconnected from the most high. So disconnected from themselves. But that has a lot to do with the systematic just ways of living that has been forced upon us, whether that be the food system, the processed foods, McDonald's. Why is there a McDonald's on this island? Why is there a Wendy's? Why why is there fast food here when the land is producing all of this goodness for us? The land is producing all of our medicine. You, you know, there was a time here when <clears throat> we were at a point where the government was literally pulling the people out of their houses and destroying destroying the the houses that the people lived in so that they could pull them away from the land to stop agriculture so we not growing our food today is not a coincidence it's, it's a design Again, and it leads right back to ego. When, when these people were destroying the houses and taking the people away from agreeing with their culture, if you listen to agriculture, it speaks for itself, it's agreeing with your culture. When they were pulling the people away from agreeing with their culture, not in their wildest imagination could they see that it would lead up to six killings in five days it's not what the children are doing it's what's causing the killing it's what the adults did is what's creating the killing and again it goes right back to selfish ego people wanting to take land belonging to these young people and selling it and giving it away and that hunger for power exactly so if you take land away from man what is left if if if, you, if i give you a dog house and you don't have a piece of land you know you can't take it land is so essential mm -hmm. and that's one of the things that they took away from these young people that's killing themselves today. Mm. And, and it is always because if, if you don't believe in your inner, you become egotistic because you always want from the outside. Mm -hmm. But nothing on the outside is as important as on the inside. We, we need to start seeing ourselves not just as a human being. See, we are so busy behaving like humans that we don't see the importance of a seed-like behavior. Existing as spirit. Exactly. Exactly. So, you know how deep and spiritual it is for a tiny seed to one day become hmm. a tree that Yo. actually reproduces I mean that blows my mind every time when I think about like when you open up a one single sour sun endless seeds in there you pull out one seed and you give that back to earth that one seed becomes a tree that bears fruit that doesn't only feed you feeds me and she and all of us and the entire community and it keeps giving and it keeps giving and it does not that sour sap does not want a dime mm. for its production. Thank you. Ask for nothing in return. Not absolutely nothing. Mm. And it, it is not just that the sour stuff feeds but the medicinal benefit now from the sour stuff. Yes. Medicine for the community. And this is what we don't do. If we were to take every seed and turn it into a tree. Mm. We will end poverty. Period. If, if all the fruits that this land produce, mm. we was to turn it into juice, ice cream, 
we would create jobs. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it is so important that if, if you start doing agriculture, every job will be filled. You will, there will be no job opening because you would need people to pick, you would need people to store, you would need freezers, you would need coolers. Someone might get hurt while this is being done, you would need nurses, you would, you would need doctor. Mm -hmm. Somebody may have a money conflict, so you would need a lawyer. Every single aspect that you could think about once you start working with agriculture. Every job Working with position. Mother Nature, connecting back to source, connecting back to the land beneath your feet that has been here for you the entire time, protecting you, providing you with everything you need, and ask for nothing in return. The moment we choose to commune with her, commune with earth, any perceived issue gets released. Poverty is ended. We're actually going backwards. We, why, do you, why do you feel that is? It's, it's because because we think that we, we need to become what America is. But, and we're doing a good job at becoming what America is because America is, is based on bloodshed. Hmm. And we had a weekend of bloodshed. Mm -hmm. So we are really becoming, we're fulfilling our goal. We, we have the potential of growing food, the Virgin Islands. I mean, St. Croix was once referred to as the breadbasket yes. of the Caribbean. Mm. So we have the potential. Yes, this land is blessed. But we, we need to go back to agriculture. Back yes. to source every time. But again, it's going to take a spiritual awareness. And like a seed, it has to start within. Mm -hmm. And our system is not based on educating people from within. Mm -hmm. It's a reach out. It's a reach out. It's, it's, if you want something done, you have to go to the politician. If not, mm. you have to go to the preacher. Mm. It's never you. Mm -hmm. They're not directing you no, anywhere. No. I heard something today that said the the revolution will not be televised because the revolution is happening within. We've been trained to when we hear any type of revolution is always violence. When when revolution is spoken, it should be spoken from a more spiritual aspect. Yes, indeed. But we don't know that. Yes, we forgot that. This is this is, this is, this is the time for us to remember. remember. Yes. Yeah, but At this time now, we need it, to it, it's important for us to speak that because. Yes. People don't know. We've been trained to believe because every revolution that you you, you heard about is war. Is war. Bloodshed. Yeah. People like to speak about how destructive young people are. You have more young people today than ever with their hair natural than 10 or 15 years ago. Mm. You know, you you have more young people speaking out against politician more young people understand that politicians are corrupt you know more young people are willing to say that and that it's not going to come it took us years to get to this point it's not going to to come overnight but if you look if you look at the behavior when i was a child i had to go to church you ain't getting much young people to go to church today. And people may think that that's a bad thing. But if, if we must lead our children in a spiritual part, the spiritual part must be based on truth mm -hmm. and, and not lies. I respect people and what people believe and who wants to believe in religion. Right. Believe in it. That's that's you. I still show you love. You know? Absolutely. It's, it's not real. It's, it's not real. It's, 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 I know it's simple to. It's not it real. no real. <laughs> yeah. If if you 
if you really look at it in the beginning, in the beginning, <laughs> in the beginning, I don't know how much people realize that in the, in the beginning there was no woman because God took a rib out of Adam and then God created me. I mean, where in life can two men create a woman? You know, where? where? These are the questions that whatever God is must be a universal principle. Mm -hmm. And there is no universal principle in God and Adam making it. In fact, that Basket. logic and really makes no sense, but if that's what people want to believe, by all means, you, you believe it, you know, you believe it. If you need my help anyway to make changes in the community, you could believe in Allah, Buddha, or Jaja. I don't do your program. I don't say last year. I don't care what you call yoga, as long as the change is in the best interest of the people. Yes. You call yoga, and when you call yoga, call me, mm -hmm. and I'll be there. You know, in, in, uh, in nothing, in nothing. We need to stop being personal. Yes. Again, it's ego. Yes. It's the, ego. Yes. Putting, you know, grouping people and superior this and su all of that is ways of the ego. You know. I don't care, just like you said, I don't care who, as long as you are following that light that you're tapping into inside and your intention is to spread more of that light, to spread more of that love, whatever it takes you, whatever you want to call it, to get there, by all means. So be it. Yes. So be it. And, you know... People want to bring about changes, but changes just don't come. That's why it's so easy for wicked people to dominate. Because every day wicked people got meeting. Every day you find a wicked group of people holding an organized meeting. Mm. How to be wicked? Mm. But how do we? How often do we hold a meeting? How to be kind? Yes. How to fix our community. Mm -hmm. We want, how to heal ourselves. Yes. Yeah, we want to get things done, but we don't want to do anything to get it done. There's no such thing as something for nothing in no. this universe. Everything is an exchange. And we we can't keep doing the same thing and expecting and different expect, results. Yeah. That's insanity. And we, you know, if you ask yeah. just about any Caribbean person. What is insanity? They'd be able to tell you. But yet, our behavior is so insane throughout the entire Caribbean. We all do, right now in every single Caribbean island, crime is a major issue. And it's not a coincidence, it's by design. Mm -hmm. it's, it's how could it be a coincidence that everywhere you go in the Caribbean, black people killing black people. It's, it's not a coincidence, it's by, it's by design. I feel that one, what's important also is like how there's a United States, we must put a United Caribbean together. One people, one people. One love. Yeah, one people following, one thought, one aim, one destiny. You know, and I think it is deliberate why the Caribbean islands are literally a chain. If you look at them, they are a chain. But what is a separated chain? I think mm -hmm. it's time for the chains to link up mm -hmm. and hold one voice. Mm -hmm. You know, but we have all these egotistic prime ministers, mm -hmm. selfish. Nobody wants to play the role of, of being an individual, they want to be the prime minister. And keep knowledge hidden too. Yeah, and it's, it's not, all they need to do is accept the role of being a mayor. If you put a mayor in each Caribbean island and easily put a, a, a president and vice president over the entire Caribbean, it's not a big issue. But again, ego. 
ego. If we could only get over the ego. The ego. The ego is the obstacle. It's funny that most people who are egotistic don't know. Mm -hmm. the, ego. the ego is a real devil. It's there and you don't even know. You're not aware. It's, you just follow that vibe and you're not even aware that you're destroying yourself, your community. It's, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. These are words you don't have in your spelling test. You're spelling what? Jack and Jams, yeah. From the politicians? This morning! You know it's homegrown Thursday, don't you? Yeah, man, we're still remembering. Just gonna get over it, Bunny Whaler. Just want to remind you of St. Croix family, international plant base. Chef Daniel is here and ready to serve that plant base goodness. <laughs> come on, come, come, come. On 12 p.m. to sunset, yeah man, blue food truck hunting, it's happening Lagoon, as a truck pop up, plant based eats for the community, bring your bathing suit and get nourished. Let us talk food and feel I. Feel I. Veggie burgers, that special sauce. I tell Sue and Chata salad. Feel I. Plant based ice cream. Veggie patties and natural juices. I see a family in the studios this morning. Morning, morning, morning. How y'all doing? Morning, everybody. How you doing? What's your name? I'm feeling blessed today. My name is Danielle. Uh -huh. I am the plant-based chef that you were speaking of. Uh -huh. Coming with that plant-based healing food for the community. Mm -hmm. And we are not coming to play. We are infusing all this food with love, light, and harmony, especially in this time where mm -hmm. folks need the healing. So come through, we're going to be sharing all the greatest eats. I know everybody loves veggie burgers and pâtés and everybody loves Feli's ice cream. Uh, uh, Feli's famous ice cream. So if you're not there, you're missing out. We're going to be there Sunday. It's going to be great vibes. It's going to be that charge up that you need for the week. Mm -hmm. And it's going to bring you that inspiration too, mm -hmm. to continue on that vibration throughout the week. Mm -hmm. You know, nourishing yourself with all mm -hmm. the local food that's growing here. This land is so fertile. We were talking about, you know, just the land here is so blessed. It's so blessed with the herbs and the medicine that we need to heal any illness or ailment or disease that we think we're, you know, experiencing. Mm -hmm. okay, 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 this will be at the Lagoon. Lagoon, this coming Sunday from 7, from, from 12 noon until sunset. Tell us a little more about this. Yeah, that's how it's there. What's a man feel like in the building? Yeah, I know how it is today, is food with Empress, them you know. It must change, couple months ago I started, out in the lagoon, doing my food by um, veggie burger, I tell juice, ice cream. I really want to be able to promote ice cream. Mm -hmm. And the reason I want to promote ice cream is because all these fruits that we're wasting, and I'm trying to see if I could create a way which for I could. Imagine if I could make. When you said all these foods have been wasted, tell us some of the foods that you turned into ice cream. Mm -hmm. um, so, what's up? Passion fruit, guava, mango, sea grapes, wow. um, beets and ginger. Uh, Plant-based goodness. Yeah, lemongrass, goose, gooseberry, banana. Ice cream? Ice cream. Lemongrass egg ice cream? Fruit, egg fruit. People, is this Sunday, you know? We're talking about this <laughs> Sunday. See? This Sunday from noon until sunset. Yeah, the other day for the first time I released a pumpkin and ginger ice cream. Ice cream? Oh, we yeah. had that. Pumpkin yeah. and ginger yeah. ice cream? Yes, yes. People in Farron getting jealous. Are you jealous? <laughs> uh, oh, wow, wow, wow. 
<laughs> yeah, and, and it got other things, but to, to say we guided by rules and regulations for the federal government, we can't talk about that, but it don't have a hemp ice cream. And yeah, because that one that ain't that ain't no illegal nothing, you know. Say it again, no man. Yeah, yes. hemp ice cream, hemp, really like hemp yes. ice cream, you know. You got look, really and truly. Oh, one thing I tell you, just come up here with the empty hand. Why you never gonna hide hey, things if I die? It, it would have been, it would have been unfair for me to bring for you and all the audience yeah. them come get one. You know? That's so, why. That's why y'all gotta come on Sunday. That's something new. Yes, tell them, Daniel. Yes, come, tell us. You have to be there on Sunday. Mm -hmm. You know, try all the the ice cream flavors. Try all the new. You know, I read something before talking about how you know new flavors and new shapes and colors and sizes bring new inspiration. So when you come into this space and you're trying these new ice creams and you're trying food from my hand and trying food from Feli's mm -hmm, hand, mm -hmm. you're receiving new inspiration that will take you throughout your week, that will inspire you when you get in the kitchen. You know what, feel I made that lemongrass ice cream. Let me, let me, let me try a ting. Let me try a ting. Let me explore in the kitchen. Make some medicine for myself. Daniel, tell me a little bit about chakra, chakra salad. Chakra salad, yes. Yeah, tell me a little bit about that. Okay, so we as human beings, we know that we are human, right? We have a physical body, but we also need to be reminded that we have a energetic body as well. So within the energetic body, our spirit, there are different energetic centers within that energetic body, mm -hmm. starting from above the crown all the way to the soles of your feet. And so each of those energetic centers are called chakras. And there are different foods that you can eat to energize and activate those chakras. For example, you have your heart chakra, which is located exactly where your heart is. There are foods that you can eat that can nourish that particular chakra, that particular energetic center within your energetic body that can heal you on a physical level because we know that everything happens on a spiritual, energetic, mental level first. So if you are experiencing a heart-related dis-ease, that is due to an imbalance in the heart chakra on an energetic level it happens first there mm -hmm. so if you are experiencing a heart related dis-ease in order to find the medicine that nature is providing you go to you know heart chakra foods so each chakra is also um, connected to a different color so the heart chakra happens to be correlated with mm -hmm. green foods um, foods with pink hues those colors so you know, in order to heal that heart mm -hmm. center, we want to eat green foods. We want to eat, you know, those specific colors for those specific color, um, chakras. So with the chakra salad, you're going to be getting all the colors of all the chakras and um, basically receiving the medicine to be able to, you know, heal yourself on an energetic level so that you can prevent those physical diseases and illnesses. So this work that we're doing for the community is way beyond, oh, I'm just going to grow, you know, get some food and, and be mindless about it. No, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, there is much mm -hmm, thought put mm -hmm. into it. This is for us because we need it now. So it's an STX. When it says STX, meaning St. Croix Family International yes. Plant Base. Yes. So it's not just a one-time thing this coming Sunday. You'll be continuing? Ooh, possibly. We never know. This is, we're here now, and so we're sharing the vibes while we're here on St. Croix. And, you know, as of right now, we're going to be moving out and, and continuing and sharing the love and light mm -hmm. across the globe. Mm -hmm. So we're here now, so it's best to, you know, come through and get it while you can. Mm -hmm. Because we don't know when we'll be back on St. Croix again, but we know we'll be back. <laughs> Tell sure. me a name one more time. Danielle. Danielle. Chef Danielle, Nati Chef, mm -hmm. the original. Tell us, tell us some of the people that you cook for. I heard you cook for Chronics. 
Oh yes, and 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 the legendary. I have to speak about yes. Bunny Whaler. Yes, yes. May his soul rest in peace. Bunny Whaler had the blessed opportunity to be able to nourish him. Mm -hmm. Um, I believe it was May of 2019 mm -hmm. or 20. 20, one of these, yes, but that was just one of the most, I feel, most legendary moments of my life, being able to nourish this mm -hmm. king who has nourished me through his medicinal music mm -hmm. all my life. So, you know, I'm extremely humbled and extremely grateful to, for my hands to be trusted um, by these beings who are spreading such light and love in the world and creating such a global impact ones like bunny wheeler you know so just shout out to him and yes may his soul rest in peace feel like come closer feel like yeah plant-based ice cream and yeah mm -hmm. veggie patties and natural juices tell us some about the natural juices you'll be having there yes. on sunday yeah well same thing, all type of different flavors. The other day I, I brought back out a new drink I have been making for a while but stop. It's an iced tea. It's actually made from a herb that we call St. John's Word. Mm -hmm. mm. So powerful. That's that's something powerful to really medicine. think about. Uh I had recently about two weeks ago and I I will do it again for this weekend, is uh Jojo with lime. Mm. and ginger that's that's an awesome that's an awesome drink you know international people are listening this program presently when you said jojo we mean jojo plum yeah the plums yeah yeah, mm. yeah. jamaican call it june plum yes right yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah so yeah so jojo and what jojo lime I with ginger ice cream no that's that's, that's the juice drink. that's the yes. juice yeah also people uh, come on out sun and the sun Mm. Yes, this Sunday. This, this, this Sunday. Sunday, you know, a part, a part of this, this is not. We ain't being fair because while right. we're speaking, we're being recorded, and the same thing gonna be taking place out there mm -hmm. on Sunday. You know? mm -hmm. So I, I would really like to be able to put a little something for the ice cream and the, the food cart together. So to all the people them who love Fila and support what Fila will do. Come let me see if a little picture of your face so I could use it, send it international. So we yes. so we could make millions, sell fruits and make millions, you know. It's it's not about me, it's about we. Uh, yes, you this know, is why could, it's for the community. Yeah, if we could really think mm -hmm. about it. Everybody listening to my voice, you have seen a fruit spoil and rotten and go to waste. Wow. Think about wow. if we could pick up all those fruits and turn it into money. Mm -hmm. We'll end poverty. Abundance is here you know, for so us. This is the type of thing that is not about feel I want to be out there making money. It's an opportunity for us as a people not to depend on anybody. But convert fruits into money. That's, it's, it's not a difficult plan. It's not far-fetched. It could be done. Juice, ice cream, and even beans. You know, most, all of my burgers, them, uh, the chef burgers, comes from beans. So why do we have to buy beans? when we could grow our own beans, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's an opportunity for us to really make the change that we want without anybody telling me what to do. Mm -hmm. Why are we buying, why are we importing beans? You know, why are we importing beans? Mm -hmm. When everybody growing beans and we buying it, why we can't grow beans to and cut out by? So it's there, it's, it's, it's a long term plan, but it could start Sunday. That's right. Yeah. Give thanks, Vilai. Give thanks, Daniel. Give thanks. This Sunday, bring out your bathing suit. Get nourished. Let's stop food and feel like. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Every time. Thank you for coming by. Thank you for having us, King. And this Sunday, right at the lagoon, food truck pop up. Feel like give thanks. Yeah, Every love place, Isaiah. Nice having you this morning. Mm -hmm. Every time. Bless. And I hope you can come through so I can finally feed you. I hope you can come through. So I can finally feed you. Thank you for having us. You know I gotta tap the menu up and stuff. We in the building. We here. Y'all know the vibes.
burger. You can cut it in half. And then the sauce. Mix it up. Mm -hmm. That's right. to add the salt. So on the bottom half of the burger, you just add the special sauce. It should be there, right here. Yes. You want me to look like a chef? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I want to see how much. Okay. On the lentil. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Got him. Get into the salad, y'all. It smells so good. Chakra salad. Chakra salad. Be specific. Right now, just enjoying life. Just enjoying life. Just ready to eat some good blessed food. Well, you know what? You need to try some good blessed ice cream. Yes. One Havana. You have sour sauce. Say it again. Guanabana. Oh, what's up? <laughs> That's sour Are you watching the video? Yes, sir. Guanabana. Sour soft is guanabana. <laughs> you ain't never heard that? It was sound like you just wrote a song. <laughs> I'll do it. I'm going to do a veggie burger. The man from you, man. Burgers doing a thing out here. Bell peppers. Mm -mm -mm. Served with a chakra salad and locally baked bread with a special sauce. Already sold like maybe 10 burgers. Mad Ito. It's halfway in already, <laughs> and we're only 20 minutes in. But it's a good thing we have that next pot. Huh. I have a friend coming for a veggie burger. He's funny. He likes his veggie burger a particular how. Okay. So. How does he like it? He gonna tell you exactly what he wants. Okay. He's not the most. We gotta make it pretty though. Yeah. I'm gonna make it pretty, but it is pretty and that's all the pretty we need. Yes. Okay. Yes. For, for my boy, two weeks. Everything comes well, in perfect one, timing, two sir. Two one month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. Yeah, yeah. Enjoy. You only have spoons? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Somebody ordered a veggie burger, right? Yeah, come on. Wait, don't touch the veggie burger. Okay. Just cut it. Okay. And don't do anything more cut it. It's okay. not funny. Yo, people are so funny with food, right? Mm -hmm. Look at some extra stuff. We'll see how he likes it. Okay. It's not ketchup. Okay. Um, four is good. Yeah. Being that you didn't get anything. I'm going to ice cream and whatnot. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's very good, Ashama. You got mesco? I feel like I don't mesco. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Burger is actually five. This is two. This is three. You don't tell me how much you got. Yes. Let me know how much. Nine. Barbie, there's, there's a special sauce, but I think you should taste it first. 
She got them cooking right now. Those four and four is gonna come after these people get there. Oh, okay. okay. Yes. But I can start on the soup. Which ice cream are you gonna get? They got no more See the the rasta woman with a red, gold, and green hat. Where? Right here? Yeah. With the green? Yeah. Okay. Please take good care of her for me. And she's getting the four and four. Four and four. Okay. Okay. Come about Right here. Okay. With the green top on. Let me know if you need help with anything, okay? Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Especially, yeah, I was corrected. Okay, two veggie burger and an ital. You, you got a fish? Yes. Two veggie burger and an ital. <laughs> Yeah, you move like half my Yeah man. Whatever it works. Yeah man. How are those veggie burgers doing on the stove? They're not gonna flip on their own. Okay. They, they, they're not like uh, the last customer, they're not gonna flip. Okay. Wait, the last customer? Okay. It's all in the wrist, feel like it's all in the wrist. I know y'all see that wrist. Y'all better take notes, guys. That's very, very, like if we're working, and we're working in the east, we get some food from the town or elsewhere, on the beach itself, and the lagoon. You know, sometimes here, it just depends on what we do. You know? Yeah. But um, it's, a, it's a, I mean, now we live in the west. We're from the west. I mean, hey, Randall. Hey, Who ordered the ice house? So I ain't the man no more. Who ordered the ice house? I can't get a bowl of ice house. I want, she wants one too, so it would be too cold. Yeah, did you get like um, the order yet? I was gonna ask if you take our I forgot my phone unfortunately. I I used to try it. If I could afford it, if I could afford it, I was gonna ask our favorite bottom. That's what my name is. That's good in here, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's get that out. So yeah, he is like chocolate sauce right now. Okay. Everybody got their ice cream. It's good? Como? Beets and ginger? Yeah, I guess. Relax. Okay. Very heavy. Okay. 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 Good. Right there where the bridge is. Follow us to the road on the other side. But when you reach the road, I'm about to end of the road. Hey, hey. 
This is for you and a spoon. Here you go. Sure. Let me check on these burgers. Hi. Patience is a virtue, King. Three dollars. Thank you. Have a blessed day. I know, I tell you, I, I can't trade hair. Wow, 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 wow. Blessing you. Enjoy you. You ordering? I'm like, I was supposed to be out here earlier, but. It's lentil burger with a chakra salad, so it has everything in there. And the special sauce, of course. Hey, babe. And and we have some, there's some Ital left. There's not much, but Ital, and then we have ice cream, and then juice. The last buns? What? But does it go with the uh, the amount of? Mm -hmm. No. Well, it might actually, because I did make a couple veggie burger salads, so it might work. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten more burgers. Okay. One, two, three, four. And then we five, have the six. five on there too. We just gonna see. Oh, cool. Yep. Literally a couple more. And that's it. This is the last one. What time is it? It's like not even 2 30. But we also got the I'm coming. Veggie burgers on the stove is almost ready. Thank you. Beat it though, beat it though. Sure. Yes, and chakras, yes. Yes, there's ice cream. Where's the pate? I go buy my ice cream and you go hold it for me until I ready to leave. Yes. I love living on an island, bro. Life is just so much better. Great. Hey. Hey. That's why you can actually go. Video that. Yes. That is beautiful. You're right. That's why we can actually go. And you agree? Yeah. 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 Okay, thank you. You. Thank you. Now you pull me off. Yes. You are blessed. I like sauce. Yes. And you want ice cream, right? How many you want? And which flavor? I don't know yet. What size you have? This is size. I feel like the bottom of the Yes. Me. This is the size. You see what I mean? But they're two dollars. You can get a couple of them. This kitty size thing. So you can hold it for me until I yes. What time you gonna leave from here? We're gonna be here till sunset. Okay, no. good. Or until uh, we sell off. I want a pizza and what ginger. Pizza and ginger. Pizza and ginger. Pumpkin and ginger and... Pizza and beets. 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 I think it's best for you to get them now. Yeah. Yep, but honestly. But they got melt. I'm coming. I'm coming. Going soon. from here. Okay. I just pull in with my dad and she hit up there with a little puppy. She just there and I got him back up there to cool out with her. Okay. You know I mean? I just get so we just gotta make sure there's an excess of that. So I'm gonna be here for a little, for a little bit. So how many are you gonna get? 
I ain't done yet. I don't know if there's any in there. Are you asking me how much I want? Yes, I don't know what um, if we have the beef. Feli, we're looking for beets and ginger right for him. He's right here. Huh? Everything level. I got life. I, I didn't hear the question. And the beets and ginger. For the drinks is three. Okay. Uh, I want to uh, you know, do the same thing again. Feel like putting these in a bag for me. I want a chlorophyll. Okay. You already gave me the 20, so I have that. I gave you the 20 for what you're done. Do you already? Yeah. So now it's in the Now it's drinks. Okay. Okay. I want a chlorophyll. I want a pattern. And I want a sea Okay. That's nine. nine Thank you. Yes, right. in the cooler to, so I'm just going with it. Put it in the cooler to. Okay, I will. Yeah. So I owe you 11, right? See that young man? See that man right there? Make sure he does not come around. <laughs> Make sure that man does not come around. Yeah, no, he's not on camera. Yeah, no, I want him on it. <laughs> we want him too, but he's not allowing us. He oh, won't. he don't have a choice? He could tell I what he wants? Didn't let you have a choice? We need to see yeah. You see that? That's a lot of love. That's a lot of love. That's a whole lot of love. You go home, but you ain't want camera. Eleven. I could ever, I could ever have a chef and my food card documenting it, and you ain't there in it. That's not okay. That ain't okay at all. That's not okay. Ask them if they know Philly, and if they say yes, tell them a call in for you. You don't have a choice. Lentils on the on the stove? Not right now. Okay. But I would like feel like to show me how to turn the stove on and off. It seemed like he would have to put like a torch to it. Okay, I see. But I say ask him because I, I don't. Yeah. Know. I really don't. I gotta work on remembering. Mm -hmm. I'm working on, I'm currently working on remembering. I'm eating the foods that I know heal those things, like rosemary. You knew it. Your, I was about to yes. say rosemary, bro. Moving your memory. Get the incense and yes. the tea. Yes. The tincture, even. Yeah. feel like the tea. There we go. Tippet, 
kipak, all of these different types of indigenous wood to Central and South America. And when the French burned us, they killed a bunch of the wood trees. Mm. Yeah, and lignum vitae was another one. It's a very slow growing wood, but it's more dense than a lot of metals. Yes. Metals? Persian gold makes jewelry out of lignum vitae. You can make pulleys and stuff like that for boats out of lignum vitae because it's such a dense wood and it's really oily, like it cures in its own oil. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. Yep. All from a mango tree. All from a mango tree. My auntie. You say your auntie? Yeah, that's my auntie. She pulled up. This car right here. You better tell her hurry up and get yeah. some food. Cause we almost out. So she can't for food. Don't forget this pot out here. You know, you want to do a picture with a pot? Yes. Okay.